Hey guys, it's Todd Nesloni here. Um, every year I share a story about place value um, that I do with my students to help them learn the different things of place value. And I've gotten lots of requests to record it. So I'm going to do my best right now to record the same story I tell them. <clears throat> so I always start by telling them, you know what, there's a city that is just being started and the mayor needs to get some people moving into a city. So the first thing a mayor has to do if he wants people to move to his city is he has to build some houses. So the mayor takes some houses and he doesn't build just one because you don't want just one house. He goes ahead and he builds four houses on the first street. And he thinks, you know what, if I can get people to move into those first four houses, then I'll be good. And then I can, I can start being an actual mayor of a city with people. And so he builds the houses and four different families move into the houses. And then the mayor realizes, you know what, as my job as mayor, I probably should learn their names because that would be good for me. So when I see them around town, I'll be able to stop and talk to them and know who they are. So the mayor decides to go by each house to meet the people that live at the house. So the mayor walks up to the first house, knocks on the door, and, when he, and, and a little boy answers the door. The little boy answers the door and the mayor says, Hi, I'm the mayor. I'm, I'm the mayor of the city. I, I'm just coming around trying to meet everybody. And I just want to know if, if I could uh, just come and say hello and, and see who you are and who all lives here. And the boy says, Well, hi. It's nice to meet you. And the mayor says, Well, what's your name? And the little boy said, Oh, well, my name is Tins. And the mayor thinks, Okay, that's a unique name. I haven't heard that one before. But okay, we'll go with it. And the mayor said, You know, does anybody else live in the house? And the little boy said, actually, I do have a pet frog. And the mayor said, oh, that's cute. What's the pet frog's name? And the little boy said, oh, the pet frog's name, his name is Ones. And the mayor thought, okay, that's two names now that are very unique names that I've never heard before. And so the mayor says, well, do you have any parents or do you live with your grandparents? Who else lives here? And the boy says, well, only one other person lives here, and that's my mom. And the mayor says, oh, okay, well, what's your mom's name? And the little boy says, oh, well, my mom's name is Hundreds. And the mayor thinks, okay, that's, that's interesting. Well, it was nice meeting you. I'll see you around town. Thanks for sharing all your information with me. And the boy says, thanks, and see you later. So the mayor goes to the next house down the street, knocks on the door, and what do you know? A little boy answers the door. And the mayor thinks, well, he looks a little like the last boy, but that's not possible. So the mayor does his whole spiel again. He says, you know, it's good to meet you. Uh, I'm the mayor of this city. I'm coming around meeting all the citizens, and I'm trying to get everybody's names. And the little boy says, oh, okay, my name's Tins. And the mayor stops and thinks, okay, that was the name of the last little boy, but okay. And the mayor says, do you have any pets that live at the house? And the little boy says, actually, I do. I have a little frog, and his name is Ones. Now the mayor's starting to think, okay, this is very interesting. He said, do you live with your parents? And the little boy said, well, I live with my mom. And the mayor said, okay, and, and her name is, and he said, well, her name's Hundreds. Now the mayor's convinced that there's probably some kind of trick that's being played on him by this little boy running from house to house. So the mayor says, thank you, great to meet you, have a good day, I will talk to you later. So the mayor goes to the third house, and he's wondering, what was up with that? That was weird. And when he knocks on the door to the third house, a little boy answers the door, who looks just like the little boy from the other house. Now... What the mayor doesn't know is that these are actually different boys. They just look exactly the same. So the mayor's starting to get angry. So the mayor looks at the boy and says, guess, let me guess. He said, your name is Tins. And the little boy's kind of scared. And he's like, yes, how did you know that? He's well, I'm the mayor. It's my job to know everything. And let me guess, you have a little pet frog and his name is Ones? And the mayor said, actually, I mean, the little boy said, actually, I do. The, uh, I do have a pet frog, and that's weird. And the mayor says, oh, and let me guess what else. You have a mom, and her name is Hundreds. Now the boy's a little freaked out because he's never met the mayor before. He has no idea who he is. So the boy slowly takes a few steps back and closes the door quickly and locks it behind him because he doesn't know what's going on. So now the mayor is infuriated, and so he walks by the last house, and he beats on the door, and he's beating, and he's saying, answer the door, little boy, I know that you are playing a trick on me, I know what's going on. Like I said, these boys are not really the same, and so there's a little boy hiding in the kitchen, looking around the corner, thinking, what is going on? Why is this crazy man beating at my door? And the mayor's just beating at the door, going, little tins, answer the door, I know you're there. And the boy thinks, oh my gosh, he knows my name. What am I going to do? Mom's not home. And he says, I know you're sitting in there with your pet frog. And his name is Ones. 
And the little boy thinks, oh man, he knows everything about me, but he can't know my parents. And the mayor says, answer the door, I'm going to talk to your mom hundreds. Now the boy is completely freaked out because the mayor, or this guy at the door, knows everything about him. So the boy never answers the door and the mayor ends up leaving. The mayor goes back to his office and he's sitting in his office thinking, okay, I just met four houses. And they are four to four boys and four moms and four frogs. And the frogs' names are all ones. And the boys' names are all tens. And the moms' names are all hundreds. He said, if they really are different people, I need to figure out a way to tell them apart. Because if I go to the mall, I don't want to see a little boy and say, hey, tens. And there will be other little boy tens that are all answering me. He said, so what can I do that would help me tell them apart? Then he realizes I need to have their last names. So he goes back through the houses again. He stops at the first house, knocks on the door, and little tens answers the door again. And the mayor says, well, I'm back. I just, I, I didn't get your last name when I was here earlier. And I need to go ahead and get that. And the boy says, well, we don't really tell anybody our last name. And the mayor thought, oh, here we go again. And the mayor said, really? Why don't you tell anybody our last, your last name? And the boy said, well, we never use our last name. And the mayor said, oh, so you still have one, but you never use it. And the boy said, exactly. And so the mayor said, well, what is your last name? And the little boy said, well, our last name is Units. And the mayor thought, okay. And so he says, thank you, goes to the next house, knocks on the door. Of course, the little boy answers. And the mayor says, hey, I'm here to get your last name. Um, I didn't get it last time, so I was wondering if I could get it. And the boy said, sure. Our last name is Thousands. And the mayor thought, okay, well, that was easy to get out of him. And he goes to the next door, knocks on the house. This boy's a little nervous. He just cracks the door open because last time the mayor kind of freaked him out a little bit. And the mayor says, you know, I didn't get your last name. You just shared me with the information. I'm sorry about last time and the way I treated you. And the boy said, well, um, um, our last name is Millions. And the mayor says, oh, okay, thanks. Have a great day. And so he goes to the last house, knocks on the door. Nobody answers. Knocks on the door again. Nobody answers. And the mayor kind of peeks through the window and notices that the little boy is hiding in the kitchen. And this little boy, you remember from earlier, is freaked out about this crazy guy who keeps knocking on his door. So the mayor's yelling from the door, come on, I just, all I need to know is your last name and I'll leave you alone. Just, just share with me that. I'm the mayor. I'm trying to put all the stuff for the city together. It's all good. So the boy leans around the corner and he says, our last name is Billions. And the mayor says, thanks and leaves. And the mayor goes back to his office, and he's looking at this big picture right here that he has on his wall, and he says, okay, so the first family on the street, their name, the last name is Units, but they never use it, so I can't ever call them by their last name. Second family is thousands, third is millions, fourth is billions. And so he puts this big chart on the wall, and he realizes, you know what, I need to go ahead and make sure I label everything. So no matter where I am with the frog, I know that their name or the frog's name is going to be ones. And so whether it's one millions, one billions, one thousands, whatever, I know that the frog's last name is ones. And then I have the boy's last name. And no matter what family I'm talking about, the boy's first name is always tens. His last name depends on where he lives on the street. And then in every house, I have a mom, and her name, no matter what house I'm talking about, is, is hundreds. And so if I'm ever dealing with the third person in the family, and I always say the name hundreds, and then their last name. And we got to make sure that when we're talking about a certain member of a family, that we say their first name and their last name, because you know people get really upset when you say their names wrong. So if we're talking about the first person in a family, that's the pet frog, and his name is Ones, and then his last name depends on where he lives on the street. And so we can easily think about this like place value, because every place value spot has three spots in each family. And so no matter what number we're talking about, whether it's the first number of the frog, the second number of the boy, or the third number of the mom, we can read that number really easily by reading their first name, which would be ones, tens, or hundreds, and by reading their last name, depending on the family, the house that they live on the street.